Hey guys, um, I just wanted to get on here. I just did a show here in Nashville and it went really well. Amazing audience. Um, and I just wanted to say hey to everybody and um, tell you guys that I'm so excited that you guys are excited that Velvet Side A is finally on its way. We announced the date today. I'm very excited. And um, Superpower comes out very soon. I want to answer some of your questions. Questions, questions, questions. Anybody? Hi, guys. <laughs> Any questions about the upcoming release? Anybody? What inspired Velvet? Well, a lot of the old music that I love, um, the stuff that sort of made me want to get into music, the stuff that made me fall in love with music, um, a lot of, of influence from the 70s and the 80s, stuff that I heard growing up, that my parents played around the house. Um, sort of like the golden age. I mean, I feel like the 70s was sort of like the golden age of music in a lot of ways. So uh, a lot of the, the artists and records that I really love from that sort of inspired a lot of the, the sounds. And then as far as what the songs are about, I mean, personal. It's personal stuff. It's life. Um, as many of you guys know, I've been working on the album for about four years. I took my time with it. And the different chapters of my life that unfolded over the last four years were super interesting and ups and downs and um you know being playing the field relationships um there's some songs that were written about that um there's definitely a few songs about longing for connection um and yeah and obviously with new eyes that came out a few months back that was probably the most accurate to where I am right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, life takes you in lots of twists and turns and uh, I think Velvet covers a lot of them. Favorite 70s artists? Um, obviously Queen is huge for me and um, I don't know, there's some rock groups like Led Zeppelin and David Bowie and um, there's funk music, disco music. I, I love it all. And I feel like that's what I really tried to do was, was I tried not to be too specific with each song with, with things that were inspiring it, but it's more of like a blend of a lot of different things put together. This filter moment. I know, girl. Hey. <laughs> uh, smile. I'm smiling. I have spackle on from the show. Please forgive me for being heavily made up. A riff of velvet. What's a riff of velvet? What do you mean a riff? I'm trying to think of... Well, I don't want to give away any of the songs yet, Riley. Um, <laughs> soon. They're coming. They're really coming. I'm really excited for you guys to hear Superpower. That comes out on September 4th. It is not too far away. And I'm so excited because obviously I've been working on this music for so long and, and it took a while to get here, to get to where we are. And I've told you guys this before, there's a lot of different reasons why. A lot of them were business reasons, timing, things like that. I made a lot of changes in my business side of things and that sort of dictated the timing of this project. But it's finally time, which is great. Um, also, uh, you know, uh, I'm on tour right now with Queen. I don't have to only talk about Velvet. Are you guys enjoying the tour? Who came to the show tonight in Nashville? What are you guys thinking? Are you enjoying it? Um, it's so much fun. Brian and Roger are, are like family at this point, as are Tyler and Neil and Spike, um, all of us on stage together. It always feels super comfortable, which is, which is nice. favorite eyeliner oh I don't know what you're talking about I'm not wearing any makeup <laughs> uh, 
I'm reading your questions. <laughs> My brows are super comfortable. <laughs> Superpower! I see Allison Porter in there. Hi, Allie. If you guys didn't know, Allison put out Wild One. It's so good. And her upcoming project, Pink Cloud, is amazing. Make sure you check it out. Uh, will you headline tour? Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to do a Velvet tour for sure. Um, obviously, we would want to wait until the side B comes out so that I can do all of it. But I'm sure there'll be a couple shows before then. Some performances. Absolutely. Okay, I'm waiting for something good. Wait, uh, yes, Allison is keen to point out that she helped contribute background vocals on Superpower. Thank you, Allie. <laughs> Will you ever go back out on tour with Queen again? Oh, yeah. There's lots more coming. That is a train that ain't slowing down anytime soon. I'm trying to read your guys' questions. I'm trying to find something good. Um, these are good questions. And some of them I'm purposely skipping. Yes, that's right. That is the truth. <laughs> How many to songs total will be on Velvet? I actually don't have the full answer to that. I mean, obviously, there, you saw that there's six tracks on side A. Um, the songs that have already been released, New Eyes, Coming In Hot, and Feel Something, they will be on the full album. So I just wanted to give you guys six brand new songs. Um, I thought it would have been sort of counter-exciting. Counter-exciting, that's new. Um, sort of pointless to to put three that you've already heard on this thing i mean why you'll get it on the main album how do you decide which songs release as singles um you know i've been sitting with these songs for a while so like i play them for friends i play them for people i respect in the business colleagues and sort of gauge people's opinions and which songs they gravitate towards the most and i kind of sort of do some unofficial polling of my my buddies and and see which one kind of stays at the top favorite song to perform with queen god i don't know they're all so different that's what i love all the songs have video clips um no not necessarily but Superpower will definitely have a music video. Uh, we, we recorded it in New York a couple weeks ago. Um, and I'm, I just got back an edit two days ago that I'm in love with. I'm really excited. It's a lot of fun. And I, you guys actually haven't heard any part of Superpower yet. Um, that's not Superpower that's in the teaser video for Velvet Side A. That's another song. Um, I'm so excited for you guys to hear it. It's a lot of fun. What do you do to unwind after a tour? I don't know. I just chill. Uh, you know, chill at home, relax. Um, catch up with friends and family. That's always very recharging. Look at that brow. That brow is going. <laughs> Yeah, we did Dragon Attack tonight. That was fun. I think, you know, I think it's really easy to get stuck on one set list because you know it works and you kind of go into it and you're like, okay, this is the set list. Let's just do this one. But, you know, after a handful of shows, it gets a little stale if you're always doing the exact same thing. And, and 
um, Brian and Roger and I were talking today and like, let's do a different one here and let's take this one out and put this one in. And, and it does make it fresh. So that's something that we should do more of. <laughs> do you do the marijuanas? <laughs> Someone just asked me if I do the marijuanas. Uh, I have definitely done the marijuanas. Yeah. Not advocating uh, any substance that anybody's not comfortable indulging in, but I quite like it. If you weren't a musician, what would you be doing? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I've always been into the creative arts. That's always sort of what I've been drawn to since I was a kid. Um, I'd probably be like designing something. I don't know. I don't know. I think something that I would like to get into on the side is creative direction at some point. I think that'd be really cool to help someone else create something that was for them and not for me. I, I can see myself doing that in the future. Am I good at drawing? I actually haven't. I used to draw a lot when I was a teenager, a lot, but it was usually because I was bored in class. <laughs> Um, I actually haven't drawn, drawn in a while. Do you design your costumes? On this tour, actually, I was really lucky to have met Julian McDonald at um, a party before the Oscars. Uh, he's good friends with Roger and Roger's wife, and I knew who he was. I was a fan of his designs. Um, he's so notorious for creating such beautiful garments, and I was chatting with him and he's very sweet, very charming. And, and he was like, Hey, do you want to, could I design some stuff for you for the tour? And I said, fuck yeah. Um, so that was really exciting. That's the first time that's happened on that level. Um, but I'm definitely really hands on with what I'm wearing on stage. I, I tend to like, um, go shopping, bring stuff in, put stuff together. And I try different things, different nights, depending on my mood. Oh, Columbus. Yeah, that was a great audience. We had fun. You know, I have to say it's been, uh, I think more, more on this tour than I think ever. It's like every show feels so tight, so good. Um, I think the audiences have been, we've always, I mean, we've been doing this now for a while. We always have great audiences, all the tours we've done, but I don't know on this tour, the audiences have just, there's been something special going on. I definitely think that a lot of people saw Bohemian Rhapsody, the movie, and I don't know, it's just created like a renewed interest in in the music, and that's really exciting. We've seen, I think, more diversity in ages in the audience. I see like a lot of a lot of older audience members, like we've always had, but like their ch their kids and their kids' kids, and it's like a family affair out there. It's very cool. Anything else, guys? I'm still in my um, <laughs> Seattle's earthquake. We were there for that. I remember that. I was actually like, I, w I had actually gotten out of bed and I was peeing at the toilet while the earthquake happened. <laughs> and I was like, the minute it started, I all of a sudden did not have to pee anymore. <laughs> I think it's funny when you have an actual friend that you know from your real life here on one of these uh, asking silly questions. <laughs> How do you get notifications for important things on social media without dealing with all the likes and comments from the fans? Um, what do you mean? I'm not sure I understand that question. I turn my, um, my notifications off, actually. But I'm always checking Instagram 
Let's see if I got a message from somebody. Emperor Maximus, yeah. Are you guys excited for the Playmobil movie? Um, you should check it out. It's so it's so silly. It's 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 a lot of fun. I think you'll like it. I had fun. Oh, you love the spike jacket. Yeah, that um, those spikes are they've been around for a while. I wore that. I wore the spikes on a different jacket back on the first set of shows I ever did with Queen. Um, and I, I literally was when I moved, I I saw them in a drawer, and I just thought to bring them and stuck them on a new jacket. How do you walk in the high platform heels? Um, I just walk. I ain't no stranger to a heel. It's not that hard. Oh. <laughs> so why green for the album I, I don't know I mean I think I just got into that I love that color I love like emerald um, I've been like wa I've been buying clothes and accessories in that color and I've been decorating my house in that color and I just like it it just you know certain colors just like resonate with you I just love that color um and yeah, on the first video, it became sort of a key color, and I just kind of kept pulling it through all the creative. I've had a really good time being in the driver's seat on the on all the visual creative uh, side of things on this project. Um, I'm always involved, but I think I'm more in control now than I've ever been, and it's allowed me to reach out and collaborate with amazing people, collaborate with amazing performers and other artists and kind of throw a bunch of ideas out there and, and, and throw them back and forth and, and, and really come up with, with um, visuals that I'm really into. Do you worry about age? What's there to worry? What, what would I worry about? What am I? What do you mean? <laughs> Actually, I think age is age is interesting because I, I do stop and think sometimes. Oh my god, I've been doing the music industry thing for ten years, and before before that, I was doing theater for about ten years. So this is like this feels like a second chapter professionally, and yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be. Oh God, I'm 37. And so when I say the age, when I hear it, it sounds kind of fucking old, but I don't feel old. I feel, ex I always feel excited for what's next. I always, I, I feel, um, I mean, granted after 23 shows of singing Queen music, I feel a little older, but <laughs> a week's vacation can take care of that. Thirty-seven is the new twenty-seven. I feel that. I feel that. I really do. Sorry, I'm being silent. I'm just trying to read. I'm reading your guys' comments. Thank you so much. Um, Puerto Rico. That'd be cool. I think I was conceived in Puerto Rico, according to mom and dad. That's where the honeymoon was. Maybe I need to go back. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that's sweet. I yeah. Thanks for commenting on my, my makeup looks crazy because I was sweating for two hours, but thank you for enjoying it. Do you use Seth Riggs vocal type warm up? Um, no shade, but I don't really believe in the Seth Riggs technique for me personally. I'm a loud singer. Seth Riggs is a speech level thing. It's a technique that works for a lot of people, but I, I like singing loud. Um, that's my sound. Anything else? Anything else? I think I should probably wrap it up. Falsetto or belting loud? That is a very interesting topic because a lot of people think that the word falsetto just has to do with how high the note is, but it actually has to do with the volume and sort of the placement of it. And falsetto, another word for falsetto is like head voice. Like it's, it tends to be quiet. Like it's light. It's not pushed at all. Um, yeah. A lot of, I've read articles and they talk about falsetto and they, they use that word wrong. I've told you guys this before. I'm, I, it's very frustrating <laughs> Depends on where your voice breaks, that's true, which is called the passaggio, which is another vocal technique thing. I think in Lap of the Gods when I hear the word falsetto. Yeah, there's a little bit of falsetto the way I do it. Uh, like when I go, it's so easy. That's, that's falsetto. But then like two phrases later, funny, that's like, that's not falsetto, obviously. I use it a little bit in this, uh, in, in the Queen show, but I tend to sing more full voice. An Adam Lambert makeup line. Ooh, that'd be fun. It's so crazy how makeup is, like the cosmetic world has changed. And I was looking at somebody's video today on Instagram, um, I love seeing how many boys wear makeup now. It's like, it's so like, not a thing. It's not like weird to anybody. Like, it's like, oh, okay, he wears makeup. But I don't know, 10 years ago, it was, there was like a different public opinion on it. It's very interesting to see how that's changed. All right, guys. Well, it's been a long night and it's time to chill. I'm going to wash this face. Um, again, I'm so excited that you guys are excited for Velvet Side A, uh, and um, Superpower comes out September 4th. Stay tuned. Thank you guys for your support, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. <laughs>